In this two-part series, we're going to use Google Scholar and Web of Science to do citation chasing, using sources referred to within the article as well as the sources that cited the article after it was written is a great way to identify more information on a topic. In Part 1, we will look at using Google Scholar for citation chasing. We'll start with an article that's right on topic and search for it in Google Scholar. Often a quick search with just the title in the main search box will find the article. Putting the title in quotes helps target the article because the words then have to occur as that exact phrase. If the title is really long, you can search just a fairly unique part of it, possibly leaving off the subtitle for example. Google Scholar also has an advanced search box that appears if you click the little down arrow. This can be really useful if the title is very common, or if you aren't sure of the exact title but have other citation information like the author, journal, and year. Okay, let's go ahead and search for the article, Somatic Cell Nuclear Transfer. There are actually two articles listed in Google Scholar with the title we searched. The one at the top of the list in the journal Nature is the one we're looking for. I've set Google Scholar to link to any articles the library at Penn State subscribes to, so we can get to the full text using the Get It at Penn State link. Each of the links here to article leads to a copy of the full article. We do have that article, and we want to use it to find more good sources of information on the topic, so let's go back to the search results. Google Scholar makes it really easy to identify other sources that have cited an article. Under the information about the article, there are two links that lead to these sources, Cited By and WOS, which stands for Web of Science. We'll take a look at Web of Science in the next video. According to Google Scholar's Cited By information, this article was cited by 416 sources. A high number of citations like this indicates that it was an important study. We'll use the link to go directly to a list of the 416 articles that have cited Wilmot's article. Not all of the articles will be relevant to our topic. At this point, Google Scholar gives us the option to search for concept within these articles. For example, we could ask to see only the sources that mention sheep. That refines our results to a little over half of the original list. We can now scan these articles for other titles that are relevant to our topic and use the Get It link to view any articles we find of interest. So we've seen how to find articles that cited an article after it was written. Let's now move on to citation chasing using the sources cited by the author within the article itself. That is easily done using Web of Science, covered in Part 2 of Citation Chasing.